Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I'm doing something that I have done once before on this channel and that is I am basically switching out days. So today I will be talking about my first day and in tomorrow's video we will see what happened on Wednesday and you will also see my next reaction to and you will also see my reaction to the next song from Alessandra. In today's video there will be no reaction because I want to talk with you about what happened at the doctor's appointment and I also just yeah want to have some time without making this reaction cutting too much of a video. I just need some time to think about the next yeah weeks, month, the aftermath of the doctor's appointment. I don't really know where to start, but let's just say it all started today at 3 p.m. I had this appointment as a rheumatologist at the local hospital here in Sweden, in Ernst's week, of course. And I was already kind of late because we were at work and my mentor got into a conversation with someone who wanted something from him. And I felt like, yeah, okay, we have like still like 30 plus minutes time. So I was talking to another colleague and then I checked the time and I felt like, oh, okay, now it's 20 minutes. So now we should get going so that I am not too late. And well, then he got stuck into another conversation and I was like, we need at least 15 minutes to get to the hospital. And yeah, so I was kind of like, oh man, I'm going to be late and it's all going to be bad. And yeah, but in the end I got like two or three minutes too late but it was all fine no problem luckily because the doctor was also still stuck in another appointment before me and first of all let's talk about the convenient thing unfortunately you have to pay for each doctor's appointment in sweden for this one i had to pay 360 crowns which is round about like i don't know 30 euros the good thing on that is, however, that because Sweden is digital, I could check in already online and pay with Swish, with this Swedish PayPal thing, the, the fee. So basically they knew I will be coming and I did not really have to talk to any receptionist that I am arriving. They basically just trust me that I go through and it's going to be fine. Well... Because it was the first time for me still, I was kind of like, I don't want to make a mistake. So I talked to the receptionist because I was also a bit late and she was checking and she could not find me. And I was like, oh no, but she could not find me because I was already checked in. So then I went into the waiting room and I was waiting and waiting. Maybe after maximum like 10 minutes, the doctor came and we checked through all my documents and we talked about things. And that is basically where my mood became what it is right now and the thing is I was going into this appointment with the perspective that I will get the medication that I have been using for the last years the one that you have seen in this one video where I give me the injection and that I might yeah just get more of that so that we kind of can reduce the cortisone that I am taking every day but her perspective was that we have to go back to the medication that I have been using before called MTX. And when you check this video where I for the first time mentioned my whole arthritis situation, I said in that video that this MTX was the worst thing that I could have taken, that I really felt my body was rebelling against it and it was the worst. And now hearing from the doctor here, no, let's, let's do that again. But now instead of taking pills, you do the injection with a higher doses. That was already the first moment where I thought like, no, please not. And then the thing also got a bit worse because I have not received my current injection thing. So I am basically stuck on nothing. I have received new cortisone, same dose, however. And it's going to be bad, actually. It's going to be bad because... There is no increase in medication in any way. And the way that I'm using the new pills that she gave, like the new prednisolone, the new cortisone that she gave me, I will be using that in the morning instead of in the evening with a kind of delay that is being working in the morning. 
So if I now go to bed today, I know that I will feel really, really terrible in the morning when I take the morning cortisone. And if I instead take the cortisone now in the evening, I will not have any good reaction in the morning. In the end, there is no good or bad. Like, it's just a shitty situation, to be honest. And the thing is, I don't want to talk too much bad about the doctor or whatever, because she really took her time she is starting basically like to just double check every joint that has swollen areas. We make an MRT again and we make x-rays and it takes time. It is not like it's all going through in the next week. It's going to be the next three, four months. And I really, really, really don't know how I will be feeling. And it is the worst feeling when you don't see a future. And I just don't see the future right now. And it is like when I left this hospital, I really felt like crying. Because this is, it's not what I was hoping for. And I, I, will, I, will, call the, I will call the doctor tomorrow again to maybe ask if she can put um, the, the Cosentix, this injection thing that I have been using since two years, that I can get that back at least until... They have checked like my my lungs and shit because they need to check it before I go back to this MTX injection. But I need something for now. I cannot go without this Cosentix thing for the next time. Like there is no chance. And it is just a very, very weird and disgusting feeling to think about the next week's without positive yeah, outcomes after this appointment. I was waiting so long for this appointment, over a month. I counted the days, I counted the hours. And now, yeah, I have a decision that is not the best. And the worst thing, actually, and I, just, I can just say it, like this MTX medication that I will be using, you're not able to make children, basically, when you're using it. Or... Maybe you would be able, but the risk of the children being like having other not healthy situations when they are being born or whatever is very high. So there might be terrible things happening. So you are not allowed to or like you should not use this MTX for three months before you start yeah, trying to have a baby. And even though there is currently no one in my life, my my wish would be that I would have a baby soon. And it just feels it just feels so depressing. I don't like there are probably so many thoughts in my head and I could repeat myself so many times. But now I am stuck on waiting till they um basically sent me a letter or whatever making an appointment for an x-ray, for an MRT. And when they do like, and then did they want to check this lung thing, like my lungs, when they have done this and everything is okay with the lung, then I can start using the MTX. So maybe, yeah, I, I have to call them tomorrow again. There was so much information today. And, you know, like when you have negative thoughts and someone talks to you, because in you're kind of in a shock situation, you just don't listen to it at all. And I tried really focusing on the words she was saying, but I think like I have not fully understood everything. That's my situation right now. That's it. Yeah. So I just say, have a wonderful day. We're going to see each other back tomorrow. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye bye.